the premiere of Matrix Resurrections has sparked some debate. Okay, it was borderline controversy. The long-awaited sequel is considered one of the most polarizing films in recent history, being both praised and hated by critics and fans. Some people saw the movie as a proper return of the franchise. Others deemed it as the final nail in its coffin. But why has this movie been so controversial? Did Matrix Resurrections effectively kill the franchise? In this video, we're going to be discussing the disagreements surrounding Matrix 4 and why so many critics and websites hated the movie. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Rumors that the upcoming sequel would be polarizing hit the internet months before the release, with early reactions being that the movie was not going to be what people are expecting. But the first real wave of dissent came just a week before the premiere, when the review embargo was lifted. A large number of the critics said that Matrix 4 was not a good movie, while another part called it the best of the sequels. The situation was made worse when somebody randomly compared Matrix 4 to the fandom antichrist known as The Last Jedi. When you want to effectively kill any potential a sequel or a new franchise might have, say that it reminds you of The Last Jedi. That will do the trick. This comment led those who profit from the fandom war to make Matrix content in preparation of a new and lucrative fan versus studio controversy. We're going to explain most of these points, but first, let's take a look at the Matrix Resurrections review score. The film's earliest review score on Rotten Tomatoes was 69% positive critic score and 79% positive audience score, so most of the people who saw the sequel said that it was a good movie. Today, the score is at 69% critics and 64% audience, close, but still above average. On other sites like IMDb, their scores are also above the midpoint. This proves exactly what was mentioned before the film's release. The Matrix Resurrections was going to be polarizing. The Matrix Revolutions has a much lower critic score, with 35%, but over time, people have come to appreciate the movie, and the audience score is at 60%. We've received many messages from subscribers who tell us that they feel like they're the only person who liked the movie, that they feel like all the media and YouTube hated it. But that's not quite true. Based on the scores we could find online, more people think of Matrix Resurrections as being a good movie, or at least a passable one. Of course, it's not better than the original Matrix. Most sequels aren't. The most we could say is that the film did divide the critics, the audience, and the fan base. But social media tends to promote the extreme, a minority that may consider this to be the worst movie ever made will end up looking like the majority, and this is due to the nature of how these networks function, which is to reward controversy through engagement. However, this does not render some people's negative opinions about the movie invalid. Everyone has the right to decide for themselves if they like the movie or not. After all, art is subjective. The problem starts when influencers begin to ask or directly tell the audience not to see the movie, but instead to watch another popular movie that was in theaters at the same time. Comments like, don't watch Matrix Resurrections, instead go watch Spider-Man No Way Home for a second time, were the order of the day. But did these influencers hate the movie as much as they say they did? Various internet platforms make viewership and money based solely on the hate they generate. The more hate or upset a topic causes, the better for these platforms. This is known as hate clicks, something that journalists, critics, and some YouTubers discovered that they can take advantage of financially. To put this theory to the test, we decided to run a little experiment on our channel. Since its inception, our content has been talking about the lore and news about the Matrix. No controversies or negative opinions. So we wondered, what would happen if we made a not-so-positive video about the Matrix with a thumbnail with the word FLOP in big letters on it? Will the people believe that we are saying that the movie was a complete failure? Will it go viral and be one of our most viewed videos on this channel, even though most of our subscribers are Matrix fans? Could it be that the controversy would help position the video, while the results of the first 30 minutes say it all? This video was getting twice as many views and was ranked number one on our list. The video was released when The Matrix 4 was still in theaters, so the channel's statistic told us that it was in our best financial interest to negatively talk about the film. Almost a month after publishing that video, it is the most viewed video of that month. This proves that my most successful video of the past four weeks was precisely the one that is perceived as a negative commentary or controversy about Matrix Resurrections. Do you think it's a coincidence that Matrix 4 was compared to The Last Jedi? 
YouTube's algorithm, that flawed program that recommends videos, loves it when a video has a lot of engagement. Shares, comments, likes, dislikes. A video that causes a negative emotional reaction in people usually generates a lot of comments. An upset person is more likely to interact with a YouTube video. This was the big revelation that YouTubers discovered during The Last Jedi. It was a game changer for many Star Wars and fandom channels. It was like finding oil in your backyard. Now don't get me wrong, I personally hated Ryan Johnson's opus, where he destroyed some of our childhood icons, like Luke Skywalker. That shared hatred for The Last Jedi led many people down a path of no return, where the failure of any franchise is expected, or worse, even hoped for, so that influencers can make negative content and make that money, capitalizing on fan outrage. This is why it's easy for anyone to have the false impression that everyone hated The Matrix Resurrections, because the YouTube algorithm, as well as other social networks, promotes this type of content. And what better than the failure of a franchise and the misuse of political overtones to generate controversy and engagement on YouTube? Better still, when comparing the piece of entertainment to the most reviled franchise film of all time, when there is no comparison to be had, simply to attract viewers. To this day, we still get comments saying that we only speak positively about The Matrix because our channel depends on it. I think we just proved that the opposite would work much better for us. But we won't do this because we do actually like The Matrix. Most of it anyways. We are a group of fans with differences of opinions when it comes to individual pieces of Matrix content. But when it comes to The Matrix Resurrections, we all love the movie. We could be making way more money if we made a hundred videos talking shit about Matrix Resurrections. But we won't because we enjoyed the movie. As soon as The Matrix Resurrections hit the theaters, most influencers were already saying that the film was a box office flop, that Lana Wachowski had sabotaged the future of the franchise, and other absurd claims. The business model used for Matrix 4 revolved more around HBO Max subscriptions, and it made about the same amount of money as James Gunn's Suicide Squad in theaters, which, mind you, has a spin-off series, Peacemaker. The Suicide Squad was also considered a big flop. The heads at Warner gave statements that they would be willing to continue the Matrix franchise if Lana wanted to, but most news reported the opposite, that the Matrix franchise is officially dead. Does the Matrix Resurrections have problems? Of course it does. We are not saying that all criticisms of Matrix 4 is biased. There are many valid opinions as to why people did not like the movie. This video is for you to be aware of the parasites out there who feed on negative engagement to gain more views solely motivated by money. There are times when a movie is not as bad as critics say, but sometimes a movie can just be bad. But when a massive collection of YouTubers and influencers come together as a collective to hate on a movie based on a purposefully unfair comparison, you can't help but wonder if there is some invested interest at play here. If you're curious to know what we did not like about Matrix Resurrections, don't worry, we're going to make a video listing all the things we did not like about the sequel. Funny how The Matrix Resurrections is just as relevant to today's society as the original one was back in its days. Virtual platforms feeding on negative feelings. Go figure. But do you agree? Did you like The Matrix Resurrections or did you hate it? For Matrix Explained, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.